In Backup Exec 2012, I'm going to show you how to add a logon account and also to look at the system account. So in the upper left hand corner, click on the icon, configuration settings, logon account, manage logon accounts. From here we see that we have the system account, which is our default, and then we have our test account. Now the system account is also the account that's used to open up and connect to the Backup Exec server. So you want to make sure that that has the proper rights. It's the first account that you give any kind of access to when you first install Backup Exec 2012. Here we have another account that is a restricted account that we may need for accessing resources on a separate server, maybe in a different domain. So if that's the case, then many times you'll have to click on here and type in the domain backslash username. Otherwise that user may not work properly if you don't have the domain name here. And then you click OK on that. And now you can see that we changed the login. So you can add accounts here. You can highlight and delete accounts. You can also edit a current account. This is our system account. And you can see it does not have the restricted logon account. That's because it is our main account. You can also go about this a different way, go back to where we started, and choose the Logon Account Wizard. So we can add or edit an account. We'll just go ahead and add one here. And we'll just put in the same one we did last time, our domain name, backslash username, our password, next. And it's going to be a restricted account by default. And the Logon Account name, we'll just put in the same thing again. And next and finish. And now we go back in, we can actually see that account under Manage Login Accounts. So there it is. There's the name, and then there's the username, and you can see it's a restricted account.